This morning I've combined my AM snack and my breakfast together. Reason being is that I'm trying out this Weight Watchers on the go classic coffee protein shake, I'm gonna call it. It has 160 calories and is loaded with 30 grams of protein but has less than a gram of fiber. So I need to have a certain amount of fiber in my breakfast. Uh, so I decided that I'd have an orange with it. Something different. So far, the shake is extremely creamy. I just made it with eight ounces of water and six ice cubes. I did add some almond extract to it. I didn't think it was very flavorful. It does, if you're not a person who's a fan of instant coffee, this is not for you. I personally am not a fan. I don't know if I'll buy these again. Uh, I wanted it because it'd be something different and I will drink them, but I will be adding some flavoring to them because I don't like that distinct taste of instant coffee. Um, in any event, it is a large shake. It comes out to be a lot because there's a lot left in here and I did taste it already, so it was really to the brim. Uh, what could I have done? I was thinking about what I could do to have this just be a breakfast because for me, it, I'd like my breakfast to be more toward 200, 210 calories, but let's say I wanted to do this as a breakfast. Well, then I would add some of this organic oat fiber by Anthony's. Um, if you've not seen this before, people use this for baking when they're on keto. And um, this is a really good product. It is like a white powder. And one teaspoon adds three grams of soluble fiber. And um, so I like to make sure I get enough fiber because the fiber keeps me fuller. Soluble fiber will, if you're dieting, keep you fuller longer. And the insoluble fiber, which this orange has both, soluble and insoluble, will also um, aid in your digestion and it will kind of like put off hunger pangs. It helps with that as well as um, bulking up stool, which sorry about the TMI, but that's in case people don't realize insoluble fiber versus soluble fiber that there is a difference, but they're both good for you when you're trying to lose weight or maintain weight loss. So I did not add in the Anthony's, but it is an option for me. If I want to add in, it doesn't add calories. Uh, to make sure that I'm boosting up my fiber if something does not have enough fiber that's a healthy or food, I'll call it, um, rather than, you know, I'm not going to add it to a Nutri-Grain bar, put it that way, or something like that. You know what I'm trying to say, I think, I hope. Uh, so yeah, this is breakfast and AM snack for today. Here I have all the fixings for what I'm having for lunch today. Of course, I'm going to have a tossed salad in here underneath and all is the roasted red pepper, the raw onion, cucumber, and my romaine on top. This is my dressing pack to go. It's the one that I always have, the one that I make, pardon me. It's about seven calories. I have some Dijon mustard that I'm gonna put on this sandwich that I'll be making. Here I have a combo of, sorry about the light. This is the low sodium turkey breast with some lacy Swiss. And this is about 120 calories. My two slices of bread is 90 calories. So between the, these two, I have a power, a power fuel, a small carb, two points for the turkey breast, two bites for the turkey breast, three points for the Lacey Swiss, two bites for the Lacey Swiss. And the bread is a small carb, two points and two bites for 90 calories. My salad is two vegetables. And um, I'm using the Fit Active from Aldi. Um, 45 calorie multi-grain. Really like this bread. So that's my lunch for today. This is my dinner for tonight, for real. I have two servings of non-fat Greek yogurt with stevia and cinnamon on the bottom. And on the top, I have some of my fruit cocktail compote that I made, two servings of that. And it comes to a small carb, two power fuels, zero personal points on both. Uh, on Healthy Blue Bites, it's three points for the fruit cocktail, zero for the yogurt. And I have a total of 300 calories here. 100 for the fruit cocktail, 200 for the yogurt. And that's going to be my dinner. It's just too hot today. And the rest of the day is not looking very savory. It's looking sweet and cold. 
So here we have my PM snack. This is four Wasa rye crackers, the light rye, for 80 calories, and a serving of the fat-free cottage cheese, Walmart brand, for 80 calories. And what I did is I took some ranch seasoning and mixed it into the cottage cheese, and then I topped it off with um, some of the everything bagel mix. So I cut the sweet a little bit by having something savory. Came to me in the last second. So this is my PM snack. This is my dessert for tonight. I've already sampled it. It's really, really good. It's got good texture. Not really aftertaste like some protein bars have. It's got the texture of cake. Really like it. These are the nutrition facts. 120 calories, three and a half grams of fat, one saturated fat. It has 18 grams of carbs, two fibers, four sugars, three added sugars, six alcohols, and 11 grams of protein. This is a bargain. I would track this as a power fuel on Nutri system, and it is tracking as three personal points for me, three bites, and again, I already said 120 calories. So that'll do it for today's eating. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of you out there who take the time in your day to watch my videos. I hope you found something helpful in the video, and I will look forward to making another one for you. For now, I'll say goodbye.